All right. Uh, in this video, I'm going to introduce the concept of uh, infinite geometric series. All right. So uh, and I'm going to derive the formula for sum of an uh, infinite geometric series. So as you know that uh, geometric series, you uh, you may have uh, sum, right? Sum of an infinite series. All right. So compared to arithmetic sequence. So for example, if you have uh, geometric, let's say you have two. Maybe 2, 4, uh, 8, 8, uh, 16, 32, so on and so far, non-stop, right, non-stop. But this is a geometric series, right? This is a geometric series. Why? Because the R is 2, right? The R is 2. So you keep multiplied by 2, you see? You multiply by 2 and 4, you multiply by 2 and 8, you multiply by 2 and 16, you multiply by 2. Uh, this is a type of uh, geometric series. So if you keep listing out, it will not stop, right? Uh, so well, it will not end. So this is an infinite series, right? Uh, it's an infinite. Okay, if I add up this thing, this, this one is all called infinite series, uh, right? Just now it's a sequence. If you add up everything, the number, it will become an infinite geometric series right uh, geometric series but some geometric series they will converge to a value all right it will get a value if you keep adding this you will get a value right but for this case do you think it will get a value it will constantly change right because the number getting bigger and bigger you see 2 4 8 16 32 plus with 64 if you keep multiplying 2 the number getting bigger and bigger so when you're adding up all this term, the number is a very big number. Uh, we said a very big number, which is, you don't know how big is it, right? It will be very, very big. Uh, we said very, very big. Terlampau besar. So this type of series, we said diverge. Uh, we diverge. So means that bercabang, okay? Not? Uh, bercabang. So means it's getting bigger and bigger. So, but this is a first type of uh, geometric series. There is another type of geometric series, yeah? all right? Which is, let's say, if you have, uh, let's say, if we, we reverse, let's say, 32, we start with the first term, 32. Then it will be reduced, become 16. 16, it will become uh, 8, right? So, means that you divide by 2, yes, sir? So, 8, then you have uh, 4, then you have 2, can you see that, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2. Ah, after this, it will be 1 over, uh, sorry, it will be 1, right? It will be 1, a list for you, so that you, uh, so that you understand what is happening here, right? I want to introduce some concept to you, so I use a simple uh, number to tell you, 1, it will be 1 over 2, why? Because you keep multiply by 1 over 2, right? You keep multiply by 1 over 2, 1 over 2. So the number getting smaller and smaller, right? Smaller. 1 over 4 and 1 over 8 because you multiply by 1 over 2, right? You get 1 over 16, you get 1 over 32, so on and so far. Okay, what happened? What is the difference between these two infinite geometric? This is also an infinite. Uh, it's the same thing because it never ends at a term. So it's infinite geometric series. So which one were getting uh, means that the number were getting you seems like stop you know because the number getting smaller and smaller. So for example, this one you're getting bigger and bigger. Uh, the number, the value, the getting bigger. This one getting smaller. Alright, so you multiply by 1 over 2, keep multiplying the number 1 over 32, of course it's smaller than 1 over 16, 1 over 64. You are getting smaller and smaller until like it very small. Means the number at the end there is nearly zero. Uh, nearly zero. So which one can stop? Uh, my, 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 my question now very simple. Which one you add can stop? You adding, 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 adding. It's diverged because why? The number getting and bigger and bigger, 1000, 1200 getting bigger but this one you're getting smaller and smaller so when you add up all this when you add up all this the infinite geometric you add up all this they were you will get a number uh, you will get a specific number 
Alright? Uh, that specific number we said to be sum to infinity. Right? Uh, they will get a value. Uh, this is a value. You will get a value. Means that when you add up, add up, why? Because this one very near to zero. So when you add up, it becomes insignificant. So you will get a value. So that value, once we can get a value, which is almost constant, uh, almost constant, almost constant, uh, this type of case, we said this series to be converge, uh, menumpu, bercabang. Okay, not menumpu. So, that means that uh, this one is a is an infinite geometric series that are converge. This is an infinite geometric series that are diverge. So, mostly we will study the one that converge because we will get a value. Right, we will get a value. So when when will the series become diverge? When will it be converged? So very simple. You can see that this one I multiply two, right? Two, 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 multiply three, multiply four, all the number bigger. Alright? Uh, all the number that bigger than uh is not in this range. Alright? Uh, so if you have if you have in this range means that it's between negative one and one. It is in between this range, all the value of common ratio, okay? The common ratio that in between this range, between one and negative one, means that, for example, uh, for example, like R equals to one over two, uh, negative one over two, uh, one over four, three over four, everything you will turn to 0 0.75, uh, 0 0.25, 0 0.5, all the fractional number, Okay, uh, a proper fraction number means that it's a proper fraction number. So uh, it will turn out to be a converged infinite series. All right. So, okay, I'm going to tell you the concept. Okay, if you're not very understand, you can come and see me eh, about this concept here. So let's move on to how to derive to get the formula for sum to infinity. So I, I, I the, okay, I can tell you that the sum to infinity for this, for this case, the diverge one does not exist. Okay? Does not exist because the number getting bigger and bigger. But for this, the sum to infinity exists. Right? Exists. Means there is a number that represents all this when you add up. Okay? Now. So, okay. So, you know that you have learned the sum of the n term for a geometric series, right? Uh, untuk geometric series, you telah belajar uh, hasil tambah sebutan n pertama. So, di mana a 1 minus r path n <coughs> over with 1 minus r n. r cannot be 1. Okay, so what happened when the value of r, the value of r is between negative 1 and 1? It can be negative 0 0.9, 0 0.2, all the 0 point. Semua yang ada 0 point something akan menyebabkan siri ini tertumpu, converge. All the one that got zero point something, uh, uh, so this siri will converge. So, okay, you have sum. So, what, what is it mean by converge? So, when the r is between one and negative one, the sum to infinity uh, means that you limit what happened. Okay, we will talk more about limit when we go to uh, the chapter eight, all right? So now, you have, let's say, you have said that the value of n approaching infinity means that the n getting bigger and bigger. So, a 1 minus r n over 1 minus r. So, the limit of the r will getting to zero. Alright, very easy. So, means that the r n as n approaching infinity, the value of r to the power of n Getting zero. Alright? So, what is mean by getting zero? Means that uh, 1 over 2. For example, r is 1 over 2. 1 over 2. To the power of something very big. Very big. 0 0.5 power very big. You try to use calculator, you will get almost zero. Almost zero. So, this thing will turn out to be zero. Then, this case happened. The limit of the, uh, Sn. So you will get the formula as this one becomes zero, the formula becomes a over one minus r. 
uh, S infinity. So I talking so long because uh, of if you are very light about the concept of sum to infinity, you have to understand, right? So I but I tell you, you just need to understand uh, how I get the formula. So the value of R, the condition such that the sum to infinity exists is it must be between negative one and one for the uh, right or some book they may write in this form the modulus of r is less than one which you learn in chapter one uh, chapter two so okay this this is the most important thing that you must know okay the, for the whole story here this is the most important thing which s infinity is a over one minus r and the value of r must in between these two so that so that sum to infinity exists uh, Okay, that's all for, for, for the derivation of the sum to infinity.